I'm anxious for your thoughts, Colonel Kwiatkowski, on what Mrs. Clinton, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, says about NATO. Take a listen. An invasion of Ukraine that, uh, instead of driving a stake between us and our allies, brought us closer together in order to support uh, the right of the Ukrainian people uh, to defend their liberty and freedom and democracy, people might have doubted that because we had burned so many bridges uh, with our allies and our friends. So reinstating uh, a foreign policy that plays to the best of American values, that puts our interests and security front and center, but does it in a way that actually brings people to us, not pushes them away, uh, would have been thought to be uh, extremely difficult. And indeed, it was. In looking across the globe, defending democracy in Ukraine, expanding NATO, just as an aside, too bad, Vladimir. People are not forced to join NATO. People choose and want to join NATO. Look, I feel the same way that you guys do about her. I just wanted you to know what she's up to and that she's out there and she still has her, her coterie of followers in the State Department. Everybody in that audience, the camera didn't show the audience. It was huge. Everybody in that audience yeah. well, let me, works let me tell you. for Tony I, Blinken. They, they do. They do. And Hillary has been popping up um, frequently. I have an article coming out on Lou Rockwell probably this week. Um, and I have a theory, which I'm not going to share here, but um, it relates to Hillary Clinton. And I would say um, my comment in looking at that, not listening to her words because she's talking nonsense, but she has campaign hair. 